hey guys and welcome back to another vlog so as you can tell i'm just washing the pots because they need to get done and it is definitely my worst thing to do i absolutely hate washing the pots more than anything but i thought i'd vlog today because i fancy vlogging but i've decided to combine this vlog with tomorrow's as well so i'm gonna still be vlogging tomorrow because exciting things are happening tomorrow i'm actually finding out the gender of our baby which is really exciting um a lot of people are assuming girl i'm kind of edging more towards girl because with cole everybody thought cole was a boy and cole was a boy so it could be a girl could be a boy i don't know honestly I'm not bothered. I really am not bothered. I kind of thought I'd probably want a girl because uh, obviously I've already got a boy, which obviously would be nice, but I honestly am not bothered in the slightest. Like, it could be a boy, it could be a girl, and I would still be just as happy, whatever the gender. So I don't really have a gender preference because I've already got one boy. It'd be amazing for him to have a brother. But it would also be amazing for him to have a sister as well. So I honestly am not bothered if it's a boy or a girl. And I know Dylan isn't bothered either. Um, I'm not going to do any vlogging in the hospital. Because I'm trying to keep Cole as steady as I can. Because Cole actually can't come into the scan room. So I need to make sure that he is happy and calm before I get shouted in because the last thing I want is him to have a tantrum as soon as I walk into the room because then I'll feel really bad but yeah the scans usually don't take long so I won't be in there for long and I'm gonna announce the baby on this vlog the gender so I've decided not to tell anybody unless they watch this video and then a bit later on I will announce it on social media and the reason I've chose to do it this way is honestly because I feel like people, I want it to come from me. And some people get really annoyed when I say this, but this is my last baby and, well, potentially my last baby. And I want to enjoy it and I want to appreciate it and just enjoy this pregnancy. With Cole, I feel like everybody, you know, cared and things like that. And realistically and honestly nobody cares this pregnancy nobody hardly any of my family reach out to me hardly any of my friends reach out to me and it kind of honestly just proves so this pregnancy i've definitely caught a lot of people off because at the end of the day my kids come first and you you're not picking and choosing when you want to be in my kids life you know so that is what's happening and I think the thing is people do get annoyed at it because everybody goes through all the people to ask if I'm okay and fair enough like if you've got no way of contacting me fair enough ask other people that's fine but shouldn't people really be asking me if I'm okay do you know I feel like some people might think I'm being petty and things like that but honestly I feel like I've got a point like it's up to me to tell people my business do you know what i mean that's up to me if i want to tell somebody something that's up to me to tell them it's not up to somebody else to go and tell them which is why this is how i'm doing the gender if you watch this video you're gonna know the gender if you don't watch this video you're not gonna know till a bit later on and that's why i wanted to do it this way because as much as there are so many people that i want to tell they're gonna be telling everybody else as soon as um I tell them which is fine and I get that they're excited and that is good thing and I'm happy about that but I want it to come from me I don't want it to come from everybody else and this pregnancy I think a lot of people won't be happy with me because I am cutting a lot of people out of my life and I'm not talking to a lot of people and a lot more people will not be meeting this baby than who met Cole so if you guys have had a baby you will know how it is people absolutely are so excited to meet the baby as soon as it arrives they want to come for cuddles they want to come for hugs and then as soon as the baby's here nobody cares as soon as they've had a cuddle that's it they don't they don't want to know 
And I know to some people this might sound really petty, what I'm going on about, but honestly, guys, it's it's really frustrating. All I want is to enjoy this pregnancy. I want to be the one to tell my business. I don't want anybody else to be the one to tell my business to everybody else. And I'm a lot more... I wouldn't say I'm a lot more private because obviously I do YouTube and things like that, but I am a lot more private in terms of what I put on Facebook, for example. Instagram is the place where you're going to see most pictures of Cole. If you have me on Facebook, I hardly post of Cole anymore because there's just no point. Nobody cares. So what is the point? And Instagram is one of my favorite places to post Cole on. And obviously YouTube as well, which you will be seeing him on the channel because he absolutely loves to vlog. So yeah, hope it's not a bit of a ramble and yes some people are probably going to call me immature and say that the way that I'm doing things is sure and you know whatever but you've got to remember this is my baby and this is my rules and I'm not going to let people into my kid's life that just aren't bothered like you're not going to come for a hug and then there he is and that be it do you know what I mean so I'm going to end this up here and I'll vlog a little bit later on Current situation is taking Christmas decorations upstairs and Cole would like to hold one. Mm -hmm. Or not, they've been in my living room since November 1st, so they need to go upstairs because otherwise I'm just not gonna like them at Christmas. So, nearly end of Feb and we're only just taking some of the Christmas decorations down. And now Cole doesn't want to go upstairs. <laughs> Great! So, um, dinner is in, it's nearly done. I actually put Cole to sleep about maybe 10, 15 minutes ago because he was getting tired. I didn't give him a nap yesterday and he started falling asleep at like five o'clock and I knew he was getting tired. He was showing loads of signs of being tired. Um, I think he might have some teeth coming through because he's never usually grumpy. He's quite a happy baby, but he's been quite whingy today. Um, not in a bad way, but I think he's just a little bit, I don't know, he might have had a bad night or something, but he didn't wake up in the night, so I'm not really sure, but potentially it could be his teeth because his cheeks were red yesterday. But I just thought I'd vlog a little bit because I have just had some more Braxton Hicks. I had my first at, oh my god, when did I start getting them? 19 weeks maybe? Something's telling me 17 weeks, but I don't know. I can't remember, but I have had them previously. Didn't have them with Cole, I don't think. But oh my god, they're so painful. If that's what Braxton Hicks feels like, oh my goodness, please pray for me when I go into labour. Because I was literally sat on the kitchen floor trying to breathe through them. And it was killing me. <laughs> if labour's any worse than that, which it will be. I don't know how I'm going to cope. Literally. I know it sounds dramatic, but quick little insight if you guys haven't watched my channel before i actually had an epidural with cold so as soon as my contractions started they just felt a like period pain in my back that was it and because i was induced they said it'd be better for me to have the epidural because the contractions come a lot i don't know what the word is a lot stronger i think so yeah it was a pain-free labour, not a pain-free after labour, but it was a pain-free labour. So I don't really know what a contraction feels like. Well, not a full-on one anyway, but if this is what a full-on contraction feels like, Lord help me, because it is so painful. I'm trying to not be mardy and not act like I'm dying because I am the mardiest person when it comes to pain. I'm trying to breathe through them and be okay, but I'm struggling to even breathe through these. Please help me for the actual thing. But yeah, I'm gonna go now because I need to start dinner and I'm so hungry and so excited for dinner. Even though we're going to McDonald's later on. But just need a little bit of food before I go and I'm gonna make Cole some, just put his in the microwave. So we're now gonna take Cole for a walk in his car and I'm gonna let him vlog for a little bit. Here you go then. So today is the day that we find out the gender of our baby. Do you want to tell everybody what you're having? These are the pictures. Didn't really cooperate, but do you want to tell everybody if you're having a brother or sister? Will you give it a kiss if it's a girl? Oh! <laughs> 
Are you having a baby sister? Are you excited? <laughs> so that is the gender guys, we are having a little girl. Um, a lot of people did assume it was a girl. I did buy things for a girl, so I think it was just my look really. But yeah, she was not cooperating, so we got these pictures for free because they weren't very clear pictures and they weren't very good. This one's really, really blurry. And then this one, she's got her elbow in the air and her legs in the air. But yeah, super excited to have a little princess and now we have one of each, which I'm super happy about. And this does mean it is gonna be my last pregnancy because I've got one of each and that is all I've wanted. So very happy about that. And hauls will be coming very soon. If you guys did enjoy this vlog, please smash a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would be extremely grateful. And if you haven't already, please click the notification bell. It will notify every single time I upload a video. And I will see you on my next video.